This is Eugene Penrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer Chromebook 13 CB5-311 model with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook 13 CB5-311. Before we get started, uh, there's a couple of things I need to go over. This Chromebook comes in two versions that look nearly, or that do look identical other than the labeling. One is the full HD version that we have here, and the other one is the standard definition version of the screen. And it's, it's, the procedure is identical to those. The only difference is the screen type. Okay, so like I said, we'll be working on the full HD version, but the standard definition version is the same procedure, but different screen. Before we get started, we want to make sure the power is turned off. So that means you don't see any indicator lights over here. And if you see an indicator light of the laptop is on, you do a long press on the power button. And if you accidentally do press the power button while you're working on the on the screen, just do a long press and turn off again. And just try to keep an eye on that. The other thing is uh, for the labeling, the only way you're going to figure out if it's a full HD version or a standard HD is to look up the label. It will say full HD right here and also it will say full HD right here. It's hard to say from the part number itself if it's a full HD or standard definition. And once again, the part number for the laptop is right here, CB5-311. And also there's a part number on the bottom, CB5-311 down here. Okay, let's open it up and get started right now. So as soon as I closed it and I opened it, the laptop turned on. So what I do is I do a long press and it should turn off. Let's try again. There. It turned off and the light is off so we can work on it. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to go over the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size of the screwdriver. We have a pointed hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape and sometimes we use it as a prying tool and we have a pair of metal tweezers and that's to manipulate any cables remove any screws that may be stuck first thing to do is to snap off the screen bezel the plastic frame that goes around the screen there's no screws that are connecting the screen bezel to the screen assembly so we just snap it off to do that, we put the laptop on its side and either using fingertips or fingernails, grab the edge of the bezel and just lift up and listen for snapping sounds. And in this manner, work your way around the screen. If there's a point where you get stuck, just go around that point and come back to that point later on. So we keep going around and the same thing on the bottom. This might take you a little bit longer because I've snapped off the screen bezel on this one before, so it's a little bit more loose. But just take your time on it and it'll come off. Once you do that, you can put the screen bezel to the side. Now let's take a look at the screen assembly. For each type of screen, it has two mounting tabs on top and two mounting tabs on the bottom. And uh, there's one screw on each side that is holding the mounting tabs to the screen assembly. So let's see if we can get a better angle. You have to be careful. There's two screws side by side. You have to only remove one of the screws and that's the outer screw here. And the same thing over here. You remove the outer screw here. On the bottom, you can see there's only one screw here and one screw here, so there's no confusion. Okay, so what we do is tilt the screen assembly back a little bit and remove the outer screws on each side. There's one, two, three, 
and far. And we put the screws to the side. Once we do that, we grab by the mounting tabs and gently tilt the screen forward and lay it down. Once we do that, we see there's a connector on the bottom that's secured by some adhesive tape. And we use our hobby knife, or exacto knife, to lift up one of the corners of the adhesive tape, just enough so we can grab it and gently lift up the adhesive tape. Okay, once we do that, we can remove the connector. The way we do that is holding the adhesive tape up with one hand, use the other hand to pull the connector back and it's out. I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. You fold the tape back a little bit so you get a good view and slide the connector in. It should feel but not here too quick. So let's get a close up of this. Pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's take it out again. And let's take a look at this screen. This is a 13.3 inch slim EDP screen, um, full HD screen. I'll explain what each part of it means. Slim is just a, a, it's the type of screen that's thinner than, than most other screens. EDP means this connector, it's a 30 pin connector instead of a 40 pin connector and most of the newer laptops as of 2015 have an EDP connector. And Full HD is just the resolution of this screen. And like I said, this laptop comes in two flavors, the Full HD and the Standard HD screen. So let me give you the part number of the Full HD screen. The part number is B133HTN01.1. This is the part number you look up for the Full HD screen. When you receive the screen, the part number may be different, but whoever you buy it from, verify that you are indeed getting the full HD screen. The other thing to consider is the screen finish. This is a matte screen, and uh, also these come in glossy screen versions, and that's a matter of personal preference. So if you strongly prefer one for the other, you have to specify that. And um, this laptop also takes a uh, standard definition screen and uh, I know for a fact you can take a laptop with a full HD screen and put in a standard HD screen but I don't know if you can go around the other way if you take a laptop with a standard HD screen and put a full HD screen on that if anyone knows please leave a comment for this video on YouTube so the standard HD screen is N133 PG, BGE EAB. So if you have a standard version, standard HD version of this laptop, this is the screen you need. B N133 BGE EAB. The two screens look identical. The only difference is part number. One is full HD and one is standard HD. Okay, so once you do get your new screen in, and before we go there, uh, you can buy this screen, both the standard HD and the full HD from us, from Screen Surgeons. And we guarantee you that the resolution you specify is the resolution you ship. So what you get with us, with Screen Surgeons, is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes with the screen for free. We have free priority mail shipping, so you'll get your screen within uh, two to three days of ordering it. We have free email technical support for this and a two-year warranty. Also, if you live outside the United States, we can send to most countries around the world. Just follow the checkout procedure and select your country. To order either screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online, and then you go through online checkout and place the order. Okay, once you do receive the screen, and make sure it's the correct one for your, lap for your version of the laptop, connect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, 
put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on, and that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.